New owners, new rules. I work for a small trucking company and recently we were informed that the old owner was retiring and he sold the company to a family who would take over on July 1st. Come July 1st and the new family came in and called a meeting. Right away I felt uncomfortable, the were the kind of people who have these big beaming fake smiles and talk about teamwork, but I can smell a snake when I see one. They made a bunch of new rule changes that align with their ultra-Christian evangelical beliefs. 1. Drug and alcohol use off clock is strictly prohibited and when we come back from the weekend and holidays, we are subject to random drug and alcohol tests. If you are seen or found to be drinking or doing drugs during your off hours you will be terminated. 2. A strict dress code that promotes modesty is now in place. No revealing or tight clothes are allowed and women must wear clothing that cover up any curves or features. 3. We are encouraged to join their church and be active with our time and wallets. Church participation will be a factor in any future promotions or raises. 4. Attendance at the morning meeting and prayer will be mandatory. 5. Vacation and PTO will be unpaid starting at the beginning of the year. It's the 6th and already 11 Purple have either quit or put in their notice. So much so that they sent out an email saying that they will not be accepting any more resignations or the business will have to stop due to staff shortages. Wait to buy a company and lose it all in the first month. LOL. Fucking awesome. Just quit. There's plenty of jobs in trucking. They're quite literally forcing their religion on you. The fact they want to control what you do in your time off is way over the line. As well, I hope they fail. Quit and say it was God's will. Also, please provide updates. I kind of need to know where this train wreck is heading. Lol, they won't accept any more resignations. What are they going to do? Lock you in a closet between work? I don't think PDO can be unpaid. Then it's just to. Tell them the spirit moved you to resign. They will not accept any more resignations? What the F are they planning to do? Chaining you to your truck with a rosary? I would become a devout Muslim instantly and would demand a prayer mat. From the same link as above. Retaliation for requesting accommodation Jenny requests that she be excused from daily. Employer-sponsored Christian prayer meetings because she is an atheist her supervisor insists that she attend, but she persists in her request that she should be excused and explains that requiring her to attend is offensive to her religious beliefs. She takes her request to human resources and informs them that requiring her to attend these prayer meetings is offensive to her religious beliefs. Despite her supervisor's objections, the Human Resources Department instructs the supervisor that in the circumstances no undue hardship is posed and he must grant the request. Motivated by reprisal, her supervisor shortly thereafter gives her an unjustified poor performance rating and denies her requests to attend training that is approved for similarly situated employees. This retaliation violates Title VII. What state? They cannot stop you from using legal substances. E.g. alcohol. On your time off if you're not impaired at work. Drugs are a separate matter since they're regulated federally. Obviously don't smoke weed for dot purposes. The religious rules are unambiguously illegal. You cannot be discriminated against in your terms and conditions of employment on the basis of religion. Document and make a paper trail in case anything happens. Trucking is insanely hot right now. Find a new outfit ASAP. Quit. Who cares if they are not accepting resignations unless you have a contract there is nothing they can do to you. As far as I know, definitely keep a time and date stamped copy of your resignation to CYOA but I would just quit. Good lord you just got handed a big check. Just need to get them to sign it. Get all of that in writing and find yourself the meanest labor lawyer you can. Find out if you're in a one-party state and start recording everything if so. 
An AirPod in one ear plus an app can handle that part for you. Instigate the religion fight by politely refusing to participate. When you're done praying, I'll come to the meeting, or lead alternative prayers to whichever religion you choose. Switch it up each time if you like. Recruit followers to be in on it. Even the unpaid PTO could be illegal depending on your state and employment status. That's a hard pass for me bud. Not a chance. Wouldn't even give notice. They're not accepting resignations? LMFAO. As if they have a choice? Not to mention the sheer illegality of forcing religion on people like that. Get it in writing. Send an email asking for clarification on if these new policies are correct. When they say yes that's the policy just hand that email to the local labor board. Assuming you're in the USA. They'll have a field day shutting this down in a heartbeat. So much so that they sent out an email saying that they will not be accepting any more resignations. Or the business will have to stop due to staff shortages. Well, the 1860s were a long time ago. And, not accepting a resignation, is not a thing they can legally do. If they don't want to lose people, they shouldn't run their business like a church. Render unto Caesar etc. It took them less than a week to run the business into the ground, fantastic. Can you tell me the name of the company so I can buy it in a week for pennies on the dollar? 4 weeks PTO. Paid. Only governor mandated drug tests. Can't get around that. Third Saturday of every month I'll buy beer and grill for the whole office. Also. Sick days don't count but don't be a court. Also. Pay raises for everyone and bonuses commensurate with profits. The fact won't accept any more resignations means it's time to resign. They are religiously insane and nothing good will come from that. If they won't accept your resignation, find another job and then walk out. Note. I say this as a Christian. Your time off is your time off and whether or not they like or disagree with things their employees might do. Employers don't control your off time. 1. Start every sentence W. Jesus Christ as in you're asking for. H. Is guidance in all that you do. 2. If you really want to stay and maybe even get promoted. Introduce the trusted business decision platform. What would Jesus do WWJD, for all your answers? To industry complications. 3. And of course get another gig lined up. If ultra-Christian evangelical beliefs have taught anything. It's that hypocritical behavior is the status quo and cannot be trusted. Point 4. Once you're ready to move on, inform your supervisor that you indulged over the weekend with alcohol and you accept the consequences. You had a friend over and he turned all your water to wine and had nothing else to drink. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.